Hi, welcome to a new game. We're playing Biomutant, which I'm pretty excited about. It's getting like mediocre reviews, but it's also like a double A game, so I'm kind of fine with it. But it looks super cute, it looks fun, it looks like a chill time. And I figured uh, I don't have much to say except I'm excited to play a cutesy little game. But I have a, a collector's edition of it that my friend Frankie got. Um, it's cute. He got it at like the price of the game, not for the whole collector's edition. So uh, we kind of lucked out here, which is... I wouldn't have gotten the collector's edition otherwise if it wasn't already... If it was full price, so we got lucky. Also, Matt got lucky and wound up paying only $3 for the game on PC because I don't know why. I don't know why it just turned out that way. But yeah, I'm not going to do like a full-blown unboxing but because obviously I installed the game already and I did see the contents. But I wanted to show you guys quickly in this little intro, the little, the little guy. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. It's, it's, I would have liked him to be smaller because I like little things, but it's still pretty cool. And it, it also, I didn't do a full blown unboxing because this honestly didn't come with much. I got this code that I already redeemed for like an extra skin or something like that. And only two more things, really. This is the official soundtrack. And see, and what else? Oh, and this, it's like a giant, I won't be able to show you the whole thing, but it, it's a cloth, a giant cloth, like scroll thing that it's just the cover art. It's not, if it was new art, I would show you, but it's just the cover art. So on cloth, which is cool. Um, so pretty toned down unboxing there <laughs> and yeah i'm excited to play the game uh don't know if this will be a full playthrough on twitch and or youtube but if i like it enough maybe we'll see i might do a few hours on on twitch and we'll definitely do my first impressions on it uh so you guys have a heads up and that's it everything's cute already There's our, there's our guy, or girl, whatever, they, our creature. Oh, so cute. What a cool, what a cool, wow. Everything looks cool. What the hell? Okay, English, please. How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but oh, no. the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. So is a plague. Welcome to Biomutant. Hmm. Let's keep it on medium, because I know nothing about this game. Hopefully we can bump it up or down if needed. Although I'll never bump it down because <sighs> pride.
How freak Encode oh Encode your DNA. He looks cute just the way he is, though. Primal is a nimble, developed, anthropomorphic breed. A hybrid with gay mutation, making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of lesser developed intellect. Dum Dun is the least developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid offshoot that compensates the lack of mental prowess with physical strength. Rex is an extraordinarily developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with even DNA string making it uh, apt for both physical and mental challenges. Hmm. Hyla is a regenerative developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a G mutation, making it extremely tough and resilient. The FIP hybrid is renowned for a highly evolved mind. Its genius is directly interlinked to the power of key, which amplifies psionic output. A Mergle is the definition of an idolized breed. Its evolutionary lineage has gone in the direction where form and appearance has dominated over function. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling, first of all, the appearance of this primal. I think Rex perhaps sounds sounds the most balanced because it's apt for both physical and mental and it's honestly still kind of cute because you know that's what matters but and this one yeah this one's not that smart but they're really like fast and nimble which i i dig um it's between okay for me it's between rex and primal what do you guys think any thoughts this one is so balanced this one's the worst this one's like oh i just want to look a certain way and i'm debating between picking um rex and primal I feel like this one might be the best though. All right, let's go with, damn. Let's go with Rex. Is that okay? Define your character's starting attributes. Define your genetic structure. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh wow. That is nightmare fuel. Oh, make it short with a big head. <laughs> oh, that's funny. A small head. This is like Beetlejuice. Wait, wait. Where'd it go? It was like a small head with... Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Big brains. <laughs> oh. I guess we should make it balanced though, right? But I... It's so cute like this, though. What the hell? Why do I have to choose? God. Big brain version is so cute. Alright. I want a big head. I don't give a shit. And I do give a shit though. Hold up. Relax. Should we be balanced? God damn it. Ugh. Decisions. Look how cute that is. You know what? I'm doing it. Because it's cute. Genetic resilience. Ah. <sighs> Do we want to be resilient to cold, radioactivity, heat, or biohazard? Mmm. Lots of decisions here. I think I want to make myself... Can I just... Can I make myself balance? Yeah, let's, let's balance. Um... I just fucked it up though. I like the balance. There we go. Choose your first style. 
fur. Oh, okay, at least this doesn't affect. I wish, like, the appearance and the stats didn't matter. This is such a weird character customization. Oh, you like that? Oh, he likes that. Hold on, wait, though. I need to see all my options. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he looks like a raccoon. I think this one's fine. That's the one he liked, or, or this one. Let's do this one. Pick your main color. Black. Ooh, the purple looks cool, though. Oh. There we go. Right there. Perfect. Choose your detail color. Uh, black? <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. That looks cool. Oh, wow. Is that cool? Or do we just want to keep it white? The white is kind of nice and subtle. <laughs> but the green is like, whoa. It's intense. We'll keep it. We'll keep it subtle. We don't need to go crazy here. Let me see the black again. That's actually adorable. But it just defeats the purpose of the... Of the pattern, you know? <laughs> Alright. Pick a class. Ooh. Mercenary. Trained swordsman who has mastered the art of the blade. Dead eye. Chosen a skillfully skillful rogue who's chosen a life outside law and society values. Commando. Commando is trained as an operative of an elite special operations force. Commandos are used to working in smaller teams. That's fucking cute, though. Holy shit, that's cute. Cyfreak. Cyfreaks are experimenting with psionic powers and mutations. They are usually outcasts on the fringe of society. I don't like the design, though, of this. Saboteur. Is a cunning, skilled explorer trained to operate... Uh, covert covertly in both suburbs and wilderness. Sentinel. Just dedicate themselves to protect the house. Their dedication is for the organization as a whole, inclu including supreme belief in their dogma. Sabot so this will Sentinel. increase my armor. This Saboteur. will increase... I could dual wield. And dodge energy is reduced. Cypher. This increases my key regain. And I could shoot a spark ball. Commando. Weapon attack, 10%, 20%. Mercenary. Dual wield. Weapon attacks inflict 10%. Ugh. Dead eye. Okay, so it's between mercenary, mercenary. and dead, dead eye. Command and Cyphreak. I just don't like the way Cyphreak looks. I don't like the outfit. You know? Commando. Commando Secutus. It's for real. That's Secutus. Guys, I can't freaking decide! <laughs> okay. Alright, I've already played Ghost of Tsushima Dead and Sekiro Shadows Die twice, so let's chill. Cyfreak. Let's do. Should we do Cyfreak? I feel like with Cyfreak, then I should have picked the other class. Commando. Deadeye. 
Mercenary. Dead. Command. Cyfreak. Let's go Cyfreak. Cyfreak. Chosen. Good choice. Is it? I don't feel good about it. Because I don't like the way I look. All right, move forward using L. Classic. Classic, classic. Here's classic. somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. Bunny hop. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. I'm dark as in strength and power. I'm light blue for freedom and loyalty. Um, that's, that, you know. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Do we want to be a dark, evil bunny thing? Bunny cat? Or do we want to be a good guy? I, lo I love dark, though. Wait. Hold on. Let's see. That's right. Let's see. Ooh, look. Light is only for those having difficulty seeing what's in front of them. Sticking to the me first path is the only way we'll be going places. I like that guy. I'm surprised at the change of heart. I just I like his voice more. I side to help others, but helping the dark side is not that, you know. You know... You can't fight who you really are. The blood is obviously running red in our veins. <laughs> You're trying to keep us in the dark here, but you know it's blue blood in our veins and what it means. We have responsibilities. You can't fight the truth. Oh, oh wait! Oh, I did I pick pick light? I didn't mean to. <laughs> All right, which way to go though? Guess left can be right sometimes. Yo, this game spitting facts. How do I use my abilities though? Oh, this is a gun. Let's try that. I guess it will teach me what to do. Ooh, look at that. Going in the danger zone. Stories of death on the bodies left no! behind. No! Horsey a cun. that we're at the mercy of nature. And if the that's one a horse. that preys on others. Okay. Man-eaters meet. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. <laughs> Full roll. <laughs> Monkey wheel? <laughs> Phoenix flight? Panther sweep? Perry. Viper bite. Cool. Rabbit fury. You better make a run for it. This is not Why? the time nor place to end this story. Why? It's a killer bunny with big pointy teeth. <laughs> I love him. This time, 
It was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Oh. <laughs> this game is adorable. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and mm. the tree of life started to die. Mm. Melee target and move towards the enemy and target them with melee attacks. Aim the camera towards the enemy to target them with ranged attacks. Reload your ranged weapons with LR1. Use an ability, press the button, it's bound to while pressing and holding. Okay. There was spark. That's what I want. A sparkling ball of key energy that damages an enemy it hits. Key energy is used for dodging, using mutations, and performing special attacks. When you're out of key energy, you'll be unable to perform those actions. Your key energy regenerates both in and out of combat. Alright, let's try that. Oh, wow. I have a lot of key energy, right? Because of my class. That's okay. Alright, now let's do some melee stuff. What was parry again? Was it L1? Let's see. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm sure there's autosave though, right? Alright. Is there like collectibles and shit? Can I kill- can I- How cute am I? You know? Holy shit. What a cute game. What's down here though? That's not the way we're supposed to go, but I want to know. Maybe I could shoot these things? Click, 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 click. No. Alright, whatever. Do I have unlimited bullets? I'm just exploring to see, like, the, the tone of collectibles in this game. Because you know I'm a platinum it. You know it. You know it's gonna happen. What's this? Electric module. Weapon add-on. You found a weapon special effect add-on. Attach it to your ranged weapon to give it extra damage. For as long as the ammo lasts, some enemies have a resistance or weakness to different weapon special effects, so use them wisely. Alright. Equip. I selected an add-on. Selected through the consumable menu. What's this? You found a medic supply. Oh, this can help heal me. Your health doesn't automatically regenerate. You have to use consumables or find other ways to heal. Cool. You can use a bandage by holding the quick select menu input and selecting it. Ah. Nice. Nice. What's here? What is here? A toilet? We got a poop? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for the healing in the pooper. Just the kind of healing that we want here. Get a grip. <laughs> okay, pun master. Oh, hello. Oil sludge, sludge soaker. For most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. 
Remember to parry enemy attacks. Yeah, I see. I, all right. You've got nothing left. I see. I want to parry. Fuck, not you. God, would you just die? You. Let's parry. Let's parry. Please? Please? Put an end to him. Oh, put an end to him. Wait, do I have to? He's cute. Boom, boom. Wow, this game is so cool. Fallen enemies can often be looted for healing items. Find the highlighted fallen enemies and press triangle. Remember to use your healing items when you're wounded. Was that everyone? I feel bad killing them. Maybe we could have been friends. What? Oh, this is just an item. Okay. Tickling toffee. Was anything else here? Is that everyone? Oops. Sorry. Oopsie daisy. Alright. Can we swim? I mean, I'm guessing no by the looks of that sign. I still want to try, though. <laughs> Defeat Rockaboom? You. Fuck off. Not enough key energy. Why is the gun so OP though? Wait, can I like kick this into him? Hold on, wait, let's try. Or maybe like shoot it. Come on, I'm trying to be crafty here. You know? There we go. Can I just shoot it? Okay, that didn't really do much. Maybe I could just kick it into him. Whoa, cool. Alright. Why do I want to lock on to these guys for some reason? I feel like that would have been a good mechanic to have. There's a lot of consumables in this game. Holy shit. Wow. Um... Get out of the pump hub. What's it called? Something 101? In, in, in experiment 101, I think? I wonder why this game reviewed mediocre. Some energies carry large shields. You need to break the shields with melee attacks. Copy. Oh, I keep- I was pressing L2 to parry. What game does that? Oh, near- near replicant. <laughs> God, okay. <laughs> now. Um... The gun is so OP, I don't like that.
Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You'll also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wung Fu and Perks menu. Alright, let's see. Uh, when you level up, you can... Okay. Vitality... Um, let's let's do intellect, um, since we're so close, right? Uh, agility. Should we like just make our character all the way <laughs> smart as fuck? <laughs> you earn upgrade points when leveling up. Oh, do I want to do ranged combat or close combat? Do, 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 do. I like close combat, but I feel like with the build I'm going for, range might be better. Um, you can use any type of ranged weapon, but you need to unlock special attacks for that weapon. Oh, let's see close. Unarmed. Okay. Um... This is R2, X and R2, circle and R2, circle square and R2. Now you can perform your special attack when you have the correct weapon type equipped. Once you've unlocked more attacks, you'll be able to combine them to reach a super wung fu state. Zero square, uh, circle square R2. Once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks and special attacks. Didn't I just do that? Uh. This game is kind of deep. Cyfreak. Oh, I should have done this. What the hell? Whatever. It's okay. Hmm... Okay, so I'm too light. <laughs> I guess we're going for the good guy run. Alright. Oh, wait. Did I have gear? Let me see. In this section, you can change equipment and weapons. The circle icons represent a part of the body that can be geared up with equipment found or bought from vendors. Uh, your favorites can be saved in the outfits menu. <gasps> we could change our outfit. Do we even have anything else? You can sort your gear according to different stats. You can scrap the highlighted piece of gear uh, for crafting resources and pressing triangle. What? This looks stronger. It's a t-shirt. Oh, is that what I'm wearing? I don't fucking understand. I can just quip things on my cheeks? On my whiskers? Okay. Aw. We can equip something for the little, little bug thing. Oh, there's a map too I haven't even looked at. Oh, uh, is this how big it is? Oh, wow. That's a big map. Damn. Alright. Here we go. Pick up the claw bar. Oh, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Examine the door. That 
sight looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. The claw bar. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That was a weird. It's time to find Whoa. a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. All right, relax. Calm down. You're stressing me out. Oh, I. <sighs> I almost died. <laughs> Look at how cute when he runs. He goes on all fours. Oh. Well, that's bad, right? That looks nasty as fuck. I hate it. The morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Hey, okay, wow. Hi. I guess I should have parried that, right? Let's 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 try like being more parry. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, perfect. Now you. Yay! Parry master. Okay. You stop it, okay? You stop. Relax. Up in the ante. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points you use to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morgues and finding containers at various places in the world. You can use your bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time by accessing the mutations part of the menu. Bio points. Three bio points. Uh, can I destroy this? Man, come on, you die. I don't like the way you look. Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Mm -hmm. What's this? I found a puzzle. Rotate node. This is an number of rotations you have left. This game is too has too much depth. <laughs> Each node has a certain position. It must be rotated. Uh, I got ten moves. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I just did. Rotate the nodes so that the colors match each other. This was fine, right? Wait, can I go back? Can I start over? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There are few records of the chain of events records. that led to the big apocalypse eons ago. But it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. 
It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Deep. of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Why did he say that after yeah, I solved go. the puzzle? <laughs> so I guess I would have left less moves if I didn't put stats in intellect. Airstrike, perfectly countering an enemy's attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has star circling above their head, and after hitting the enemy again, you can launch it up in the air by pressing. L1 again. The wheeled one that is sounds like fun. You'd better help him Why out. am I fighting though? A, a guy in a wheelchair. All right. First of all, are they all protecting him or something? They're fighting him. What the hell? Okay, let's try this move. Hey, hey, you guys. I'm Not here. Much left of that one. Okay, let's try this parry move that he said. There we go. Wiped out. Yeah. No hope of that with as little energy as you have. Why did that why special attacks, you're on your way to performing a special attack. Possible special attacks are prompted on the lower right hand corner of the screen. Pressing the indicated input while it is shown will trigger your special attack. Wasn't my special attack like. That, <laughs> that, that was it. <laughs> I thought I had to fight the wheelchair guy, but now I'm concerned why they're doing it. Okay, I want to practice that L1 attack again, though, in the air. Oh, damn, I missed it. Fuck. Come on. Hurry up. Oh, okay, it gives you the prompt. Sweet, okay. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. I haven't really needed to use these consumable yet, but I feel good that I have a lot of them. Ooh, shiny stuff. Can I climb up here before I go to the back room? No? No gripping? Okay. I'm kind of like, I can't wait to be done with that game. A new friend and old friend talk to out of date. Hi. <laughs> He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. 
He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. Dionys. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. Dionys. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. How Looper Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? Yeah, Lupa Lupin, what? There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Mooma and Popsy, Mooma and Popsy. the beginning of the <laughs> end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Flashback? Maybe? No. By default, dialogues are set to advance from one NPC line to the next automatically. If you want to manually advance the dialogue, you can do this in the settings. Way back in the long ago. Look at little me! How fucking cute am I? Oh my god, I'm so cute. Oh, let's go the opposite way we're supposed to go, though. <laughs> hey, Rune! Look how cute I am. Aww. I can't. Look at the hat. Everything's gonna be great. Alright. Look at this guy. Elvis Presley, the kitty. Bunny. Mutation. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. <laughs> You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> he understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. Oh, he's a potato? <laughs> why does he the sound like potato that? people, or nono are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Nano potato people is better. I don't believe in magic. You <laughs> might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of ki. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. <laughs> he kind of sounds like the pal the palais toss in Bug Snacks. Right? Is it the palais toss? After after it's on fire or something? I'm pretty sure it is. My palais Anyway. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Or maybe I'm just making a weird connection that's not there because I'm retarded. Uh, 
Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Rustle it? <laughs> you found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. <laughs> you handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. <laughs> He's grateful for all the yeah. help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come. So, countless, he'd say. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. All right. <laughs> All right. Little run. A little run. Where's my cat? I want him. I want my kitty here. Merge the no no with the tree. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. <laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Mooma will be able to protect us. <laughs> you can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. <laughs> he says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Are we gonna see Muma? Come, Reaper. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. Anu. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. 
Bebu con Tabe. Con Ripa. Junto con tu reporte. World building and lore. <laughs> the genetic evolution. This is what's happening right now. After the apocalypse, the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working Jumbo on Puff? a Necton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Is that a boss? Wiz is still repairing his this octopod is cool. to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Wow, I love this. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Porky Puff is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. So we gotta go. Weta, Gono, Pantita, Duela, Bofo. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. That's so exciting. Bebo. Let's do it. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mecton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Let's go. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. The net of life. Rarity. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. All right. That was a lot of world building there, a lot of dialogue. Are we ready to fight a boss? No, probably not. It looks like... Yeah, it looks like there's a lot to do in between, but I really love that. So we'll have to make our way here and then go around. You know? You're getting the hang of it. Alright, relax. Quickest way out is through the roof where okay. they came in. <laughs> now I can climb the rope all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm so fucking cute. You know what I mean? Jesus. Not like me, but like this character. Who is me now? So pretty. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's like Breath of the Wild colors. Color palette. Okay. Oh yes, experiment 101. I was right. The adventure begins? That was all tutorial. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. A signpost. Maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Thank you. I appreciate that because I'm cartographically challenged for sure. Venture out to the world. Let's see. Signposts are found near locations of interest all around the world. You unlock a signpost when interacting with it. You can fast travel to the signpost once you've unlocked. Open the map at any time. Excellent. So we definitely want to make our way this way, right? So this is open world, correct? It feels pretty linear so far, but I imagine it's going to open up now. Whoa! Cool, it's furry! Examine the that must village. Be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. 
Oh, man. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. That's not nice. He could have walked that way, you know? Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Cute. Everything's cute in this game. I can't stand it. Oh no, that's so sad. I'm sorry, friend. I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Your inner balance is two halves that completes a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. Few are those who always act in the same manner, and our wholeness is the sum of choices we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions create your R score, which affects the dialogue with other characters. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Interacting with captives and Psy Shrines will award you with Psy Points that you can use to unlock Psionic Powers. Powers can only be unlocked once you have reached the required Dark or Light Inner Balance. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged. No. I'm gonna help him. Poor guy just lost all his, his whole village. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Spark of light. Spark of light. Ah, that's a spark of light in you! Alright, let's just like it. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look that's at true. you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to... To be fair, the light. black one's cuter. And has a cooler voice. But also, I'm not gonna be an asshole if, like, these people are already facing a plague. You've gained a side point. Use it to unlock powers in the mutations menu. Some powers are locked by the aura score, meaning that your side points can only unlock powers of the same color as your current aura. No doubt. Okay. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. He rolled his way all the way over here. Out of Date says you will make a better stand against the World Eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Okay. What about the other place? The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction. To bring balance to the world by wiping out the uh, weak. Okay, it sounds like the cleansing Planet is Vegeta. necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the Tree of Life. But Why would I join Jagni? Isn't necessarily a bad thing. Why? Fate will find a way. <sighs> Don't make me play this game twice. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Koyebun, Tuvun Bunun, Koibe, Okorfabe, 
He can sense you share Myriad's view on How the you know that? The Myriad would embrace someone willing to fight against the tyranny of the Jagni. Candida duela bofo. He kobe. Ivari kobo far. Out of Date will be waiting for you beneath the Tree of Life if you lose track of what you need to do. Tu lua ba bolua. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the Tribe War and the situation with the World Eaters. All right, can we stop? There's too many tutorials. There's too many. I'm overwhelmed.